Whatever happened to James, the executioner Vic? James was a towering six foot three lightweight fighter from Mineral Wells, Texas, who broke out on the 15th season of The Ultimate Fighter, the first ever live season. He got to the house with a split decision win over Dakota Cochran and went on to win two more fights against notable fighters Darren Cruikshank and Joe Proctor until losing to eventual tough winner Mike Chiesa in the semifinal by TKO in the second round. He made his UFC debut at Fight Night Shogun vs. Southern in 2013 with a 58-second guillotine choke of Ranz and Nigel. Vic would rattle off five more victories including the finish of Jake Matthews until running to some left hands of Benny Darius, suffering his first pro loss after amassing a record of 9-0. Vic would bounce back with four more wins, three of them finishes over Abel Trujillo, Polo Reyes, and Joe Duffy. Vic was then set up to face a sliding Justin Gaethje on a two-fight skid, preparing to send him back to the quote-unquote B-Leagues. We all know what happened in the cage on August 25, 2018. Gaethje KO'd Vic with a mean right hand, leading to a crazy losing streak where Vic would be KO'd four out of five times. Vic's contract with the USC expired after his upkick KO loss to Nico Price, probably the most brutal of them all. His last fight was on January 3rd of 2021, a knockout loss to Andre Fialho in the ex-MMA promotion where he retired shortly thereafter. After checking in to see what Vic is up to now, I discovered he is returning to combat sports, taking on Simon Alejandro Heredia Cortez, an 0-1 pro boxer from Mexico in the Boxing Showcase promotion, in a few days actually on March 26, 2022. All the luck to James as he's heading to his next bout.